Hi, I'm Dina Davidson. I'm the Discipleship Director for Thrive College. So glad to join you in our Blessed Life series. As I've been thinking about the blessed life, I I've been kind of meditating on this Proverbs verse that I think includes a critical component of what it means to think about resources and generosity from a Christian point of view. So let me read you Proverbs 19, verses 17. Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will reward them for what they have done. Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord. I love that. I love that because I picture God in heaven saying, hey, you on earth with resources, will you be kind to the poor? And in so doing, it's almost like you're lending to the Lord and he will repay you in full. I love that because I, as I read through scripture, I see that God has this special place in his heart for those that lack resources, those that are poor, those that do not have what they need. God has a special tender place in his heart, heart for those that lack. And the way that he has set up the world is that he has given resources to some and created interdependence among us all so that those ha who have resources are, are able to share with and care for those that do not. So as you're spending time really pressing into this idea of generosity and living the blessed life, I want you to invite God to highlight for you those in your life, those in your community. Maybe it could be someone in your daughter's preschool. Maybe it could be someone at your work. Maybe it could be someone down the street or someone you pass just down the road. Someone who lacks resources. And I want you to think about Proverbs 19, 17, that those that are kind to the poor lend to the Lord. Think about that and invite God to highlight who is poor, who is lacking in resources. Because it could be that he's put resources in your hand because he wants you to spread those resources around and in so doing, being kind to the poor so that God in turn can pay you back and reward you for your generosity. So as you spend time with the Lord this morning, allow, you to, allow him to spotlight for you needs in your community. Who are the poor? Who are the, those that lack resources? And in so doing, I believe that God will take the resources that are in your hand and use them to meet the needs of people. And he will continue to give resources to you so that you can spread them around and make this world into the world that he wants to see. I hope that encourages you this morning.